back to Good Morning Arizona. Financial literacy is not a required subject in Arizona schools, so that means it really falls on parents to teach our kids about money management, budget, and savings. So we brought in Eric Palmer of Outlook Advisors to help us uh, create those teachable moments at home, beginning with even the little preschooler who can start kind of understanding the concept of money and saving and spending and what it all means. Right, exactly. So there's, a, there's actually a group out there called the Consumer Financial Protection Board. It was started just after 2008 during the financial crisis mm -hmm. and they've recently released a white paper that identified three different strategies for three different age groups okay starting of course with with the preschoolers and the, that's you know the children that are ages between really three six and three and seven okay um, so what's interesting is that you can actually start doing things at that early uh, of an age to start to teach them some financial responsibility and they call it really the executive stage meaning that they're learning problem-solving skills mm -hmm. or learning things like what they want or what they want to save or what maybe they want to trade or give away which is really kind of the spending activity and um, it's something great that you can actually do with your children it starts with your pantry that's why we brought some of these items out here uh -huh. that we have on the table and and what you can start with with those children at that age is start to identify what do they want from the pantry what do they want to eat usually it's the sweets right <laughs> but um, um, and you can start using an exercise where you can trade them maybe for that versus uh, something that they probably don't want okay. and that really starts to create that awareness of of maybe saving and or spending and just the concept of the value I mean not everything is accessible at the moment that you want it exactly and sometimes we have to wait and sort of uh, invest or have the money to buy something special. Okay, so as the kids get a little bit older, maybe an allowance can come into play, right. and we're starting to talk about some real money for your grade school kids. Exactly. So, you know, there's there's the allowance that's out there. You, you pay your kids for doing chores, perhaps, or on some sort of frequency, you give them a little bit of money. So when we get into that middle school age, really it's ages 6 to 12, we start teaching them about saving real money, putting money away, uh, whether it's a piggy bank or okay. an actual savings account, and then set goals with them. Have them actually uh, pick something that they want to purchase. Maybe it's a, it's a new phone or, or something, a clothing item perhaps, mm -hmm. and set a savings goal with them and then actually incentivize them. So you can say, hey, look, if you get to a certain number to, to purchase the thing that you're looking for, I'll match you on that purchase. And that's an incentive for them to hold on to that money, not, yeah. don't go crazy with it, and actually wait to, uh, to make that purchase and set that goal. I like that idea because you're really reinforcing those positive principles right. uh, that it is worth the wait and worth sort of thinking long term. Right. So, okay, so those are the young kids and maybe they've got a lemonade stand or they're, they're earning some extra money some other way as well but what about when you move into teenagers and I remember maybe the most scary time is you're transitioning from high school into college and really having no sense of money and financial stability and this right. little bit of money that you're trying to live on month to month in college just keeps running out exactly <laughs> and exactly. so you don't want them to go credit card you want them to learn how to pay bills and be responsible and that's a crucial point because when you do get to college you start getting bombarded with with credit card yeah. advertising and everybody wants you to take out a credit card and go into debt so in the teenage years, a really good exercise is to actually have them be responsible for a bill. Okay. Uh, cell phone's a big one nowadays, so everybody has a cell phone. And so take your children through the process of actually doing the research, which plan is best for them, okay. which one's most affordable. Have them, whether they have a job or it's an allowance, save for that and actually pay that bill. So the whole exercise of making sure that you're paying your bill on time, on time. saving mm -hmm. your money, being prepared, and actually doing the research will teach them a lot of skills that's going to carry over into college. And of course, when they get out of college and they're really facing a lot of bills like rent and so on. Yeah, so really that good That exercise advice. is important. Absolutely. Eric Palmer, thank you so much. It is Outlook Advisors, and Outlook you guys Advisors. are in... Uh, Fountain Hills, Arizona. Okay. And you can find us online at outlookadvisors.com. Thanks very much for the perspective.